Hello again. Let's fix up our landscape material to get rid of that tiling crap. All right, so I'm going to go into my landscape master material. Now, before I get started, I do want to say go check out Unreal Matters YouTube channel. He's the one that I'm adapting this method from. Uh, he shows how you can apply this to a texture. I'm just going to show you how to apply it to a landscape layer blend but definitely go check out his channel he's got some really cool stuff so now that being said all right so the first thing i need is i need three texture coordinates so texture coordinate would be that right there and i'm going to control w control w get three of them then i need three Multiply nodes. The multiply comes next. All right, so I'm going to add a multiply for the the constant on this one. It's going to be point two for the b. The a will be that. And another one. Color it to the a for the b. This one I want to be point zero five. And then for the third one, it will be point zero zero two. Now we want to add a texture sample, and the texture sample I'm going to use is one that comes with your starter content called Macro Variation. It's really great. I love this thing. It's so cool. It gets so much use in my projects. And Because look at it. You can add this texture basically onto your landscape to add a little bit of darkness in places and really breaks it up real nice. Alright, so I'm going to Control w and Control w because I want three of them. Three. Tres. Alright. So from my multiply, that goes into the UV. And you'll see it'll affect the size of said texture sample. All right, so the B into that one. And you'll see it's a little bit smaller. And then this one into that one. And then look at how small. You can't even see it. It's cool. All right, so after that, I'm going to back that up. Back that up. And then I'm going to set three add nodes now was it from the red line it was from the red line all right so from the red channel that'll go into a on all three and now from the on the constant b on all three it's going to be 0.5 but the way you can do this is to just box select all three of them and then just set to 0.5 and then it adjusts all of them now we're going to add two multiply nodes. Again, I'm just giving a little a little gloss over of this. If you really want to see a better breakdown of it, go check out that uh, Unreal Matters channel. He does really good on it. So we're going to multiply. I'm just going to call this B and C. So we're going to multiply B and C together. And then we're going to multiply A to the result of the multiply on B. So these get multiplied and then fed into here and then the add goes into the there. Yeah. And then we're going to add another linear interpolate node. Plug this into the alpha, I believe. Yes. Alright, now for the lerp we don't want it to be 0 and we want B to be 1 but the A we want to be something like 0.1 it works on a grayscale form so you can either add a constant 3 vector and then set that to be the level of grayness that you want so like if it was 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 and it's like that gray uh, that you don't really have to do there's you can just set the A to be what you want and it'll work and then what we can do is we can just grab that, drag it over, and then we're going to add multiply nodes on the RGB channel. So I'm going to add a multiply to the A, multiply A, multiply A. All right. And then I'm pretty sure, I mean, let me double check. Nope. 
All right, so it needs to go into the B. I was wrong. It's it's to the B because this lerp needs to go into the A. So we'll hook that into the A on all three of them. And then this result will go into the layer. Layer one grass, layer two grass, layer dirt. Then we'll apply that real quick. And then when we come back out here, you'll see, hey, look at that. It looks all funky, funkadelic, and you can't, it, it makes it a little bit harder to tell that it's all, oh, okay. Where is my character? So yeah, it makes it a little bit harder to tell that it's uh, all tiling. And you can adjust that. So let me go into here. And if I set this grayscale right here, let's say I want it to be 0.5. And then I apply. Then once it recompiles, you see you can adjust the darkness of that just like that so if you want it to be even darker than the point one you could do it like point zero one oh well maybe not point zero one that might be too dark oh no that okay all right yeah and you can just customize it based on that and then when you jump into your sculpting mode, so you sculpt it up, that's a big brush, but then it'll be just like that. And it looks pretty decent. Now, this one is a fairly short video. I th yeah, seven minutes so far. So um, I want to show you one more thing that I don't particularly care for myself but you might so I'm just gonna show you so um, back in your landscape material let's say you don't want to have to paint grass everywhere right you just want it to be like oh this is a grass texture let's put grass right okay well let's do that so if we type in landscape grass output and we get a layer it not layer instance what is it uh, landscape layer sample landscape layer sample and then we type in the layer that we want to affect so like the layer sample I want to be grass one let's say I want grass one to have its own its own grassy thing right so if I highlight this then you can set like it no it's the grass over here so the grass type right here you can set a grass type. We don't have any, but you can create one. So we'll create a new asset called landscape grass type. I'm just going to drop this into my landscape folder and recall it. Let's say grass one, grass one grass, grass one grass. I guess that'll work for now. That's it's just yeah. And then what we can do is double click and open that up, and then we can add a grass variety. So. What we will do for like the grass mesh. So if you click this drop down, it'll show you you can pick an actual grass mesh. So I am going to use this um, small clump. And then you can set like the density. So I'm going to set it to like 20 just to show you. And you can you can customize all kinds of stuff. So it'll have like a start coal distance to where it's cut off or in coal. You can set the scaling. Uh, you can align it to the surface, which for grass I usually like to do. Uh, cast dynamic shadow. That's usually grass. Don't need a shadow. Uh, override material. All kinds of stuff. All kinds of cool stuff you can play around with to get the, your perfect look. But we're gonna jump back into here. So if I hook this up to there, and that's all it takes. I'll just apply. And then when I come back out here, it'll recompile everything. And it's doing nothing. It's making me look like a liar. What's okay? Let's see. 
Oh wait, I think I know what happened. Okay, so this is why I don't like using this thing very much. Um, let's see, let me just flatten everything out real quick. Um, there it goes. Okay, so you just gotta sculpt on it a little bit and then it'll apply your grass. But if I go around, you'll see it's everywhere. I don't particularly like using this auto thingy, but just let me show you why. Uh, you could probably fiddle around with it and figure out easier ways of doing it, but if I sculpt this up and then... Oh, so here's uh, one of my issues is sometimes it'll just be in the in the air. Now there's a way of doing this. You can just kind of you can set your brush to smooth, set it to something ridiculously small, and then just kind of smooth around, and it'll be there. But then another problem is it'll be on the rock, and I don't I don't know how to fix that myself. Um, I've looked into it, but I can't really. The only way I've figured out to do is to just paint a different layer over it so like set my brush size something real small something real powerful and then I just do that and it'll take the grass off but that seems almost more time wasting than just painting the grass itself because then once you paint the layer then it just all goes back into the air but if that's something if this is something you want to dabble with and try to figure out then there's that uh, other than that, that's for the, uh, that's it for the, I'm gonna unhook that real quick, get, rid, get out of here, I don't need that. I'm not gonna use it, I'm just gonna paint it manually so that I can go over processes and stuff, um, but that's something you can do if you want to, but other than that, that's it for this one, and then in the next one we'll set up, uh, different, we'll, we'll go over different techniques I use for when I'm sculpting levels. I'm not the best at sculpting levels very quick, like I'm no speed level designer or nothing, definitely, but... I know a few of the techniques, so I'll share those with y'all. So I will see y'all in a bit on the next one. Bye.